Hi, my name is Diane Sutra. I'm Lassie Ranganathan. And I'm Tara Vanista. And this is Pick Pick Compose. Compose. So when you're annotating sheet music, it can be a really, really time consuming process because you have to think of the melody in your head, figure out what the rhythm is, and then like write down each note, note by note. So even if you have like a modern music editing software, it can take a really long amount of time. So this project is meant to eliminate a lot of that middle ground work. Essentially what we can do is we can play some music and then have it notate on Lossia's screen. By using the PIC32 mic and control, we've designed an end-to-end system that can go from raw audio data to sheet music. Alright, let's get started. So the first step of this is the microphone. And essentially we can play music and the microphone will pick it up, send it through an amplifier and sound key filter. Um, so, oh, oh sick. Yeah, so once the signal is picked up by the microcontroller, it's running a 1024 point uh, fast Fourier transform that allows us to pick the peak frequency of the audio data that we put in to generate the right note. Uh, so then once we have the audio data, we convert it into a MIDI protocol. And so MIDI is an industry standard protocol, um, and that means that our uh, product can be used with pretty much any like sheet music editing software. So MIDI is like pretty much like it's a, it's a universal standard. Um, so in, after we pick up the audio data, we convert it into MIDI data, um, and then we are able to convert it into sheet music. Great, let's get started. So we press uh, pound to start, and that gets us to our intro screen. So this is the tempo input screen. Um, The user can essentially input whatever tempo they want. Um, And then if they mess up or something, they can press the asterisk to clear it. Um, And then once they choose the tempo that they want, uh, you press pound to enter the tempo. And it turns red to show you've entered it. Once you hit the pound key, it gets sent over to the Python script that's receiving it through a serial connection. The tempo that gets sent over is displayed on the screen. While you're in the settings screen, you can tune your instrument and it'll show you what note you're playing. So that was a B flat. So this allows you to warm up a tune before you start your recording. All right, let's start the recording. Send over the 80 beats per minute. Okay, we'll just start the video right from the end. Yeah, demo a partial chromatic scale. We're going to flip the switch to start. while she was playing, it was giving her instant feedback on what note she was playing. I saw that. Mm-hmm. And we can view it over here. Mm-hmm. Let's try playing it back and see what it recorded. There it is. Cool. And I noticed it was ignoring voice while you were recording, so you have a loud threshold because the flute is so loud. Yes. Okay. Um, Now that we've done that, let's try something a little more complicated. We're going to demonstrate Twinkle Twinkle Little Star at 100 beats per minute. Alright, let's see what we got. Cool, this looks great. Let's uh, take a listen. As you can see, it's getting the note length correctly, has the beats per minute at the top, 
And it's getting all of the MIDI notes and numbers that we've recorded. Cool. Very nice. All right. Thank you. Thank you.